All right, guys, how's it going? I hope you're doing very well. Now, I want to continue on with customizing Blender, making it your own, making it sexy. <laughs> really, what I'm talking about is improving your workflow. So I want to give you a couple of working examples, and it's really easy to do. When I launch Blender, what I'll do is I'll create a folder with the date and time, I'll create a whole bunch of subfolders, PSD, images, textures, assets, stuff like this. And it'll automatically save the dot blend file. And that means any time that I launch Blender, this is already set up for me. Kinda keeps my workflow nice and clean to be honest. And if you've got auto save on as well, it helps. So I've added a few scripts to GitHub. You're more than welcome to download them. The lazy blender dot loader, pretty much what I was talking about there. Uh, you might want to just open a folder when you launch Blender. Uh, you might use assets all the time. So the open folder dot py will help you do that. Uh, open web URL, that'll open any website that you put the URL into. In my case, when I launch Blender, it brings up like an RS feeder and it gives me all the kind of latest YouTube tutorial stuff like this. It's kind of personalized, but you can make it your own. And the next thing you might want to do is maybe run a program. So in my case, it automatically loads Krita. Now, this could be any program, it could be MS Paint or whatever, but that's just some basic examples. And I'm hoping that's enough to kind of get your brain thinking. And you could be like, okay, I could actually make better things. You might want to launch Blender with a thousand cubes. Who knows? But let me show you how to quickly set this up because it is really easy to do. So what you need to do is find where your Blender's installed. In my case, it's Program Files, Blender Foundation 4.2. We go into the 4.2 directory, into Scripts, then into Startup. And all we need to do is drag and drop these into Startup. And I'm going to show you one or two ways we can actually do this. There's actually several ways we can do this. You can do it inside of the app template and initialize a Python script, but the easiest way to do it is just drop them in here. So there's a few things that we need to be aware of. So if we go to Edit Preferences and we go to Save and Load, you can notice here that Auto Run Python scripts enabled. Now, I generally don't recommend this because if you download a Blender file that's got a Python file attached, it could open you up to trouble. So be aware of this. If you're working in your own environment and you're keeping things nice and tidy and you understand how it works, yeah, more than easy to do, but there is an alternative method and sometimes when you run a Python script it might not execute, it might be something to do with the way Blender's working, it might be the way Python works, but there is an alternative method and I'll show you this. So what we need to do is we need to go back into the program files or into Blender rather and we'll create a shortcut for Blender. So I've automatically put this onto the desktop, you can see here Blender shortcut, if we right click on it. We go to properties we can change the target and just to give you an example here we can add this line to the end of it so essentially what this means is yes automatically execute the file is a python file and this is the location of the python file and if you copy this and add it on to the end of the render target like so so what this will do is it'll automatically run the python script when you launch blender Rather than having it inside of a script folder, you can have it somewhere else. So that's another method. So hopefully this will give you some ideas and it'll kind of get your brain thinking. Now use ChatGPT to write these programs. It's very easy. Just type in hey, ChatGPT, I'd like to do this. And let me know what you come up with. Anyway, you know what to do. Take care.